<laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Glenda with Friends and Friends Crafts Plus. And I'm going to open this tonight. This is eight pounds of clay. I'm back. Oh, I still have to finish this project, but I did take the chicken out. <laughs> I just couldn't make him look like he fit the picture. So, but I'm doing some last minute things that I hadn't finished. <sighs> and then I realized I may need to number pieces because some are going to go other, under others. Whoa! Well, at least there's like eight bricks. <laughs> so it's eight one-pound bricks. I can handle that in pieces. I ordered this. Oh, no, they're not individually wrapped. I was hoping they would be. <laughs> I was hoping they'd be individually wrapped. Crackle, crackle. Well, they are oil-based, so <laughs> that's why they have to be cooked. <sighs> no, <laughs> that's a lot of clay. I ordered the eight-pound box, especially since it's white. Oh, well, that comes apart fairly nicely. <laughs> oh, golly. I, I ordered the eight pounder to get in white so that I could make it some more, somewhat more economical. You know, bulk. This is perfectly pliable. It's just, I think it's because of the way they, the grooves they put in it. But at least I can take off, at least this one is made up so that I can pull it apart the long way. The other one, I couldn't. I'm not going to, it's right now, if you really want to know why I'm doing this, it's to get rid of some stress. <laughs> Oh, technology has not been nice to me. I, the video I burned out, the card was bad. I, well, I'd overused it probably. <laughs> I'd reformatted that card I don't know how many times. Well, that's sticky. And I guess it just finally had its day. It would not read. And I, so I got one of these sleeves out, because there's a place you can, if you just put it back in its bigger sleeve, then the bigger sleeve has a connector. And you can just push that into a slot on the computer. Well, it wouldn't read that either. It just kept saying error, that it couldn't read it. So I put, it, I put another card in here. So I'm hoping that that was the reason, and it's not the hookup in my camera. Otherwise, you're going to get another something else a lot like yesterday. So I this I talked to Joe last night, and there of course I'm having another problem. Technology always does this all at once. You you ever realize that? We were missing about five or six movies from our DVR that I had bought and paid like 20 bucks a piece for over the past oh year or two. So I called, it, and this happened mostly just recently. So I called the company that we get it from and they only keep records for the last six months. So they had records for one of them. Well, it turns out our receiver is due for an upgrade <laughs> and so we are 
getting an upgrade on our receiver this Saturday. But I had gone through, well, let's see. Everybody's outsourcing to the Philippines these days. It used to be India. I suppose they still do them, but a lot of, a lot of other stuff's going through the Philippines. <laughs> I'm thinking that's where she was from because of her accent, but she was for customer service. So then she, after I told her all this stuff and she tried to figure out who I was and all of that, then, this is kind of boring, isn't it? <laughs> Just watching me mess with this. But, Let's see if I can find something to do with it that might be more entertaining than just playing. I haven't set up... I'm trying to get this thing cleaned off the table here that I've been working on. That's what I've been waiting on before I get my, my roller set on it. Ooh, I figured that would make... well, I guess it's not... So, what was I saying? I don't even know. What was I saying? Oh. So I spent time on the phone with a customer service on some foreign place. So we had to figure out understanding each other's accents first. And then... So then I called, oh, she put me in touch with te technical services, technologists. And so technicians are going to be coming on Saturday. But we were on hold forever. It seemed like it anyway. Obviously not, because I did get a hold of them. <laughs> but it just felt like we were on hold forever. And I was just <laughs> I was about ready to scream. So I got through my temper tantrum, took a nap. <laughs> I didn't throw a temper tantrum with them. I threw one with myself. Because I, we've watched those movies a bunch. So I can't say we've just wasted our money, but... It makes you mad when... That's why I miss VHS tapes and I miss DVDs because you used to be able to... You could, you could go ahead and you could record something and you could keep it and you had something to play it back on. They couldn't just, you know, shut it off for you, which with this, they can just shut it off. Or it can just disappear, I guess. So, so that's <laughs> that's why my brain's not working very well tonight. Now, I have no reason to use that for anything other than to just have it rolled up. Maybe I'll use it <laughs> for making a plate <laughs> at some point. But I wanted to show it off a little. At least have something to say for myself for tonight. So, Rooster is gone. Well, he's not gone. He's right here, but he's not in the picture anymore. I just, no matter how much, I just could not make him fit. But I have been getting, trying to finish up the final touches. Sorry. I've been trying to get the fi final touches done. And I realized that once I do that and I figure out everything, I, where I want to place every tree and everything, I'm going to need to number them from the bottom ones to the top ones so that I can get them all in the right order because some will be overlapping. Of course, you saw that. And so I've kind of, I, it kind of shuffled when I moved it. Otherwise, I'd show it to you. So, this is it for tonight. I just really don't have a lot. I've... <laughs> Except a scattered brain. I do have a scattered brain. If you want that, you can have it. <laughs> I hope you've had a great Monday.
and I'll quit my belly aching because mine is over. And oh, Joe's started because he was just getting ready for bed and our granddaughter called. My car broke down. <laughs> His grandpa's still awake. It was out on the street. So grandpa had to get dressed. He was still awake, thank goodness. He got dressed, went down, and he pushed her off the road and came home. <laughs> so that will be worried about tomorrow. As will everything else. <laughs> so I what I want to do is I would love to take and clear out a shelf in one of my curio cabinets and make a display in there of our favorite items that we've made like the curio items the dishes I think I'm gonna try try to sell those like at garage sale and stuff I'm afraid of putting them through Etsy because problem is I have to ship them and I don't know I mean, yeah, the other person would be have to be willing to pay the shipping charge for one thing. And so then I got to figure, I'm just not that good at figuring all that math. <laughs> oh, and I, they talked me into a marketing major. Oh, boy. Or a business major. Uh, I'd wanted to be a psych major. I was study. I was really studying social sciences as well as humanities and that was where my focus had been and then they talked me into switching when I changed colleges because I'd finished my associates I needed to go to a four-year college and they talked me into changing it to a business degree because they said the other wouldn't get me very far and now I wish I would have got my MFA, but that's fine. I still wrote a couple books. Or my BFA or whatever, BFS. So, I don't know if they even have that. <laughs> they have a lot of BSs, though. You'll figure it out, if you haven't already. Can I have an off day? <laughs> And I just consider this an off day for Glenda. And you just, you guys just, <sighs> give me some thumps on the back and say, oh, it's okay, you can have one. <laughs> I will talk to you tomorrow if I can. I love you.